Hey guys, bye bye to you here, and we're going to make flint and steel really fast. And as you can see, I have gotten everything organized like la like from last episode. So yeah, these are all the things that can be placed down as a kind of block. And the saddle is the one that I wasn't really sure of, but it really still is. And then all of these, you don't really oh torches you do. Yeah, I knew that I was gonna forget something. Yeah, torches you do kind of place down. They're like, you actually see them, and they would, like, yeah, you understand. Oh, and redstone torches also. What am I thinking? All right, but anyways. So that should be right. Yeah, that's everything. And if it's not, then just tell me, and I'll fix it as soon as possible. But yeah, so we are currently, oops, cooking up all of our stuff. And yes, I did make another furnace wrong chess all right um ooh flint and steel i don't know what to count that as i really don't i might need to make a third chest that's got like tools or something but anyways i thought that this episode would be about mining and getting trees and actually i need to eat a little bit ooh spiders we need to go kill those right now oh wolf you scared me a little bit You should have seeds. You should drop seeds. Okay. I'm going to be done with that. Um. Yeah. I'm going to leave, like, this little part of the island completely un, um, unlit, really, because then I can have somewhere to go fight mobs, you know? What's the fun of a map if it has no mobs to fight? Come on. Ooh, was that? That was what we needed. But we might as well kill these other guys. You know? Yeah, be in the water when you blow up. Yeah. Good job. Alright, so that's really what I wanted to do, was get that bed finished, so that we don't have to spawn in random places that are just complete crap. Yeah, and I'm not going to be able to run, because of lag, as usual, so yeah, I'm going to have to find some way. What I could do is I could find out the password that the other computer has and then just like have the timer be on there like I don't have to use online stopwatch I could program a thing that would like go off every 10 minutes or so alright so two of it can stay in there which is actually a pretty good profit okay so I need three wool and then three wood And I used to, for some reason, think that you would place the wool, like, on the bottom for whatever reason. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But, so, there we go. We have a bed. So, yeah. Um, I wonder if you can place beds. No, you can't. Alright. Um. Anyways. <laughs> um. I really don't know where to put this. I mean, there's not really anywhere for me to put it. I guess I could put it there and then sleep. Oh yeah, I'm still... yeah, alright. But anyways, yeah, so that should save my spawn. So now I can just spawn in here every single time. Um, I'm gonna bring up a... I'm gonna bring a backup shovel, just for now. And I really kinda wanted to use these axes, just so that we had them, you know, out of the way and stuff. So let me quickly just harvest these, because I haven't actually really harvested them for a bit. I'm sure there's only four, but that's four every time that we do it. So, yeah. I don't know where I was getting at, but... I feel like... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I'm getting a little better at these commentaries. Like, I'm not losing my trail of thought as much, and... I'm not, like... I'm not running about out of ideas as much, you know? Like, I just... I feel like I'm improving, so... Correct me if I'm wrong in saying that, and I'm not being like, oh yeah, I'm all good in that. I know I'm still crappy, but hey, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm getting better. So yeah, just correct me if I'm wrong, and yeah. 
Um, dumb leaves. <laughs> okay, so what to talk about now? Yeah. Speaking of not knowing what to talk about, um, let's see. Hmm, I don't really know. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Um, you should be able to switch stone axes. Like, you should be able to switch items together. That's what I'm going to talk about. Like, I should be able to just click on this, and then they... Oh! Never mind, they switched that. When did they switch that? When did they make it so that you could do that? Okay. But anyways. Oh, yes, I know. I recently found a glitch. A getting over 64 in one stack glitch. And I actually did not include that. I will actually try to remember to um, do this, but I will leave a little thing there. Like, I will leave a little thing that will show the glitch. I hope that it gets fixed, actually, because, like, it's not really that handy. Like, I kind of hope that it gets fixed, but at the same time, I don't. Because it's like, you can have over 64 stacks of something, like or a, a stack of over 64 of something, but it's only if, like, it has a, I believe it's either a limit, or if it only ha, if it can only have one in the stack for it to be, like, legitimate and legal, so, like, armor and mine parts, except armor doesn't really follow it for whatever reason, but, like, the way that I found it out was I was just, like, messing around a little bit, and then it just kind of stacked a little bit more, and then, like, it stacked more than 64, and I was like, huh, that's weird. So then I tried, like, clicking it down to, like, in my inventory, and it didn't do anything. I was like, huh, usually glitches have something to do with, like, placing something down and hitting, en or, and, like, closing the inventory at the same time. So I tried that, and it worked. It dropped the stack on, it's dropped the stack on the ground, and it was, like, 5,000-something. So it was pretty big, and it was of minecarts. So then I was like, huh, I'm going to kind of play around with this glitch. And turns out that armor, it doesn't like, it doesn't acknowledge that the armor is there when it's over 64 of a stack. For whatever reason. So don't think that you can have a like unlimited armor or something. And enchanted swords don't work either for whatever reason. And then I found out that you can actually drop it if your inventory is full without you have, like, if you have your inventory completely full, like, let's just use minecarts, for example. If it's completely full of minecarts, then, oh, this is another tree, but if it is completely full of minecarts, then it will, it'll let you drop it, like, just off to the side. As long as you're in survival. So, what I did is I hooked up a little um, thing to spawn a bunch of minecarts. I could actually show you that pretty soon. Like, well, I don't know if I want to because this is kind of a let's play. But basically, you have the inventory full and it drops. It just drops it on the ground. The only problem is you can't put it into any kind of container. You can only keep it and drop it if your inventory is full or if you do that little inventory while clicking glitch or whatever. So yeah, I it's it's not that useful of glitch and I hope that it gets fixed. And yeah, I just kind of discovered it. Oh, okay. So there's the 9 minutes mark. And, yeah, but correct me if I'm wrong about the whole, um, me getting at least a little bit better on my commentaries, and, oh, I should probably combine these two so that I get a little bit more out of them. I like doing that for whatever reason. Alright, and I will end the video off right here. So, yeah, see you guys later. Oh, little puppy, <laughs> little dog, little, little wolf. I would tame you, but I don't have any um, bones with me. But anyways, see you guys later.